So uh, today I'm going to try and do something different, kind of interesting. Uh, for like years, I didn't even know this function existed on my camera. I'm still in the learning phase and I figured you guys want to see me actually learning something new about photography instead of teaching. A lot of my pictures, like landscape pictures and stuff, and some of my portraits even, have uh, had like really blown out highlights or really, really dark shadows trying to shoot for the highlights. Basically what that means is... Um, like when I was trying to take a picture of somebody and like the sky in the background, I'd lower down the uh, Or raise the shutter speed to make the subject darker um, Yeah, to make the subject darker and also the sky darker so I can get the sky problem was just scare yourself. She just scared herself. Hey, I wanted to capture the sky in the background But then when I go and edit it my foreground is way too dark, vice versa, if I took a picture to expose my subject properly, my sky would be completely blown out, it would be just like completely white. I actually just stumbled upon a YouTube video, and I'm going to go try um, what they did, and hopefully it works. So, I'm going to take you on this journey with me, it's going to be fun, let's do it. YouTube so uh, I'm at a spot right now where I want to try to hopefully test this new thing out basically I'm going to try to take some high dynamic range shots Canon uh, I can't talk right now oh my god Canon cameras that have a crop sensor have a hard time with dynamic range which is basically like your sky and foreground uh, the amount of light that goes into it and I want to see if I can get a semi equal amount so we're at this big big tree right here and then my girlfriend and my dog are over there. Anyways, this big tree. So hopefully I can get sky in the foreground. So a good reminder when you do stuff like this, uh, you can just use uh, the little hanger on your tripod, put your bag down, give yourself a break. something like yeah I'm really excited about it now we got to go find uh, my girlfriend and my dog so let's pack all this up and then uh, get ready Hey 
they are. I found them. Look at that. I made a full circle. You crazy? What are you crazy? Okay, YouTube. So basically what I did here, I did something you can do with Canon cameras called a bracketed shot. Basically what that does is it'll take uh, an overexposed picture, like more for the highlights, an underexposed picture, more for the shadows. And then it'll also take a third picture, which is basically like what the camera should th um, thinks the proper exposure should be. And then what you do is you go into Lightroom or Adobe Lightroom and you merge the three photos together and it makes one photo that you can edit better versus if you were to just try to take one photo of a particular exposure. Uh, so it takes three different exposures, puts them into one so you have more of a range to come from. And then I also did a new thing that's on the EOS R10. I also did a thing on the Canon EOS R10 which does an HDR shot which is a high dynamic range shot. What I did not know about that is that it only takes it in JPEG. So I will probably not be using that function as often because I like to edit my uh, photos and to get more out of the editing process it's better to shoot raw and HDR doesn't do that at least to my knowledge it might and I just didn't set it up right. Who knows but a bracketed shot you can do raw. It goes, it comes together with raw. So with that being said, uh, the first picture I'm gonna show you is the bracketed shot. I like this one a lot better. It came out, um, it was easier to edit because I had more room to work with. So here's the original, then here's the edited one. And then for the HDR, here is the original, and here's the edited one. Uh, let me know what you guys think about how this went or if this is something you want to learn more about. I, it was my first time doing it, um, but I liked it. I'm actually uh, really glad I found that out because it's going to help with my landscape photography phenomenally because it's always a struggle to take pictures different times of the day when sometimes the sky is going to be overexposed and your foreground or whatever you're trying to shoot maybe in the foreground uh, is either going to be underexposed or overexposed and it just won't work together but the bracketed shot really works. I learned something. I hope uh, you guys found it interesting that I actually learned something from once instead of teaching you guys something. So uh, if you'd like for me to make a tutorial on how to do that, the whole process, the editing, let me know in the comments. Tell me to do it. Kidding. Alright guys. So uh, let's move on to a, a way more fun part of the video. Mustang right now, YouTube. This is really cool. Javi, oh, thank you. No problem. This is the coolest ever. Oh wow, I just.
Alright YouTube, thanks for watching. If you guys like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos um, like this or similar to this. And uh, as always, thank you for watching my stuff. I'm going to get back to it, so uh, peace.